What's up everybody? This is Dave here uh, from DroidInsider.com to do a review of the Max ROM. This is Dark Horse version 3.0. Um, they changed their name from Elite to uh, Dark Horse. Um, in this ROM, uh, there's some things to note here that uh, it's got the notifications at the top, kind of like the, uh, I guess this is where the Galaxy uh, S4's uh, notifications are, um, as they list on there on the XDA forum. Uh, but you got your notifications down here, you got your see-through uh, or transparent um, pull down. Here's your X to clear them all out. You get to your settings. Uh, some of the things that they also added into their on the forums is the sound. You might be able to hear it as I uh, click around. There's a little click. Uh, that's an added option down here in the incoming you know, in, oh no, here it is. Down here in the system, they have the uh, screen lock sounds and the touch sounds. Something they pointed out so you can actually uh, hear a sound when you unlock your screen. Uh, just something small. But uh, some custom images here. Um, some of this stuff might have installed when I uh, set up my account, so I'm not 100% if I've added something here. Uh, I did change it from custom to alphabetical, so uh, it's got the flashlight that works fine. Facebook, uh, gallery, FM radios, Google Plus. It's got the uh, toolkit up here. It's got the music. It's got play music, which I guess is the Google one. The play store. This is Cedar. Um, couldn't make a whole bunch out of this. I wasn't uh, completely sure what it was, but I was checking it out. I guess it might be um, some kind of lag reduction. So uh, feel free to comment and let me know. It's got super user. You can get its settings, sound hound on it, stocks. It's got the TV for the remote uh, voice recorder. It came with the uh, Wi-Fi tether. Let's see if uh, it'll automatically set up or come up with errors. I haven't granted it to uh, super user yet, so there it goes. Just kind of waiting for it. So like I said, uh, we'll see if this automatically... Sorry, it starts up with errors. Um, I have a video you can go check out to see how you need to have it set up. But uh, it's got the exposed uh, installer. YouTube, uh, YouTube works fine. You can log in with that. It's got the HTC Watch. It's got the camera on it. Um, the camera is a basic camera, no extra special function there. Um, uh, the ROM works smooth, fast. Uh, no real problems there. You got all your uh, Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, GPS, brightnesses, flashlight, NFC, all these buttons right at the top. So there's a a lot of convenience there. Uh, you can go into the uh, settings, personal. I'm sorry, the uh, personalized, and they got um, under wallpaper some live wallpapers, um, mostly what you're gonna see. But they, I think they said something about the uh, they've added a uh, live wallpaper in there. Um, the other wallpapers seem to be the uh, basic one, so. Nothing uh, beyond what normally they come with there. So, um, so again, the the ROM works well. Uh, this is their third version of the ROM. Um, see the layout for the phone. Uh, I think it also said something about the um, the different types of text in here. If I can actually hit the right button, I might be able to get there. So, I guess, uh, not under there. I remember saying something about the uh, swipe. Uh, under. It's got the trace keyboard, which is pretty much swipe. So, you trace around your words or whatnot, so it's my preference. So, it's got the Google Talk search application. 
So the the app or the uh, ROM works fine. I haven't had any forced closes, any issues with it. Uh, it's got some custom uh, icons at the top, which are great. Goes down to one percent on the battery, and uh, everything works fine. So uh, another good ROM. Uh, something definitely worth trying out. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, if I've missed out on something, let me know, and uh, we can cover it in our next uh, review. Thanks, guys.